Welcome to the Citra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, part two in a series of three, we'll demonstrate how to use the Lane Geometry Input dialog to specify lane configuration and lane disciplines using a sign control site as an example. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. We will continue using the sign control site modified in the intersection and movement definitions videos. Now let's begin. Select the sign control site in the project pane. Rename the site as Sign Control 3R and then save the project. Click the Layout command in the ribbon to view the picture of the T intersection. It's very important that you use the Lane Geometry dialog to specify lane configuration and lane discipline data immediately after the Movement Definitions dialog. Click Lane Geometry in the Site Input section to open the dialog. Click the View Display button to open the layout display on the right-hand side of the dialog. You can view the updated layout picture as you make changes to the lane geometry. We'll start with the Lane Configuration tab. Let's first change the configuration of Approach Lane 1 of the North Leg from a full-length lane to a short lane. In the Lane Configuration data group, using the Lane Configuration drop-down list, select the Short Lane option. Note that when the selected Lane Configuration is a short lane, an additional section will appear at the bottom of the dialog. Separate short lane length parameters apply to short lanes. Let's modify the short lane length. Now, we will add a new approach lane on the north approach for large trucks only. Click the right arrow on the App Lane command button. Alternatively, right-click Lane 2 and select Add Approach Lane to Right from the drop-down list. Enter TR in the Lane ID field and select a color. For the exit lane for large trucks on the south leg, enter the same ID and the color used for the approach lane. Let's add strip islands between the exit and approach lanes on the north and south legs. On the south leg, Select Approach Lane 1 and click the left arrow on the Strip Island command button to add a strip island. On the north leg, select Approach Lane 1 and click the left arrow on the Strip Island command button. Now let's change the Strip Island configuration data. Select the Strip Island on the north leg and increase the back width. Select the strip island on the south leg and increase both the front width and back width. The second tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Disciplines tab. All Origin Destination OD, Movements by Movement class are allocated to appropriate lanes here. You must allocate each movement class to at least one lane on any approach. If you click Apply or OK before allocating all OD movements to appropriate lanes, you will get a Lane Configuration Warning. First, select Approach Lane 3 of the North Leg and then assign OD movements from north to south for large trucks by checking the box under heading T1. Then, uncheck the boxes next to Light Vehicles and Heavy Vehicles to remove these movement classes from this lane. By default, the Lane Editor displays OD movements by all movement classes on each lane. The drop-down list, Show Lane Disciplines By, 
helps to check lane disciplines when different classes are allocated to different lanes. The third tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Data tab. This includes the approach lane data for all site types. Detailed information about the Lane Data tab can be found in the User Guide. When the Lane Geometry Configuration specifications are completed, click OK to close the dialog. Save your project. Clicking the Process Site button at this stage will give an error message. Other necessary data specifications must be completed in the remaining input dialogs before results are obtained. This concludes Part 2 of our tutorial on the Lane Geometry Input Dialog in SIDRA Intersection 8. The other tutorials in this series teach how to configure the Lane Geometry for a roundabout and a signalized intersection site. Thank you for watching.